Oh, that's a good story. Guild! Yahoo! Hey, Frank! Innocuous question for you. Buddy? Say, do you think marshmallow and watermelon taste good together? There's no way they do, though, right? If they did, no marketer would sit on marshmallow as a flavor. I mean, that is... Oh, 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 oh hey! hey. Uh, that, is, that is a food surface, y'all! Hey, does a tie on the doorknob mean nothing anymore? This isn't a frat house, Frank! This isn't a frat house? Frank, where did you take me? <laughs> You're right, Joe. We should have blocked it. Or not gotten down and dirty on the counter where I make sandwiches. No, you are so, 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 so right. Also, do you have any of those sandwiches now? Frank, carbs. Yeah, all right, fine. Well, once you sanitize that counter, Frank, we have a show to do. It's actually perfect that you're here, Joanne. We need you to settle something for us. Oh, you're with Frank, so you're already settling. Low-hanging fruit, Holzinger. Keep your low-hanging fruit off the counter. Tell Frank he needs a second job. Tell Ruby I have my hands full with this one. I can see that. Ruby, why do you think he needs another job? He works two days a week here. I asked him if he had a 401k, and he said that's too far to run. (laughs) Yeah, can you imagine this IRA hole having a grown-up job? Hey, hey, this is a grown-up job. (laughs) Zip it up, baby. What's the job? My father's construction company. Uh, Oh, so for Frank, that might not be the best. (laughs) I'm kidding, I'm kidding. (laughs) Oh my God, can you imagine? He calls wrenches twisty turnies. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) It's a consulting firm. They need someone techie. Do you hear this woman? Part time to start and room to grow. She tries to make it sound sexy, but I'm not falling for it. Good, because it's a terrible idea. If you're worried I'm stealing him from you, it's not that. (laughs) No, it, it is not that at all. But come on, Frank needs to think about putting down roots. Don't you think these sort of roots can get tricky when it's a family tree? I just want my baby to get the joy of being a Nepo baby. I mean, you see him doing this in five years? I just quit my second job so I could do this full time. You quit the library? Oh my God, Joe, seriously? Yeah. Can can you afford it? Hang on, whose side are you on? That's what I'm saying, Frank. Don't you want to buy a house? A car without pretzels in the backseat? A jet ski? Another car for showing off on the weekends? I think Ruby's right about planning for your future, Frank. But you've barely been dating nine months. Now, clearly that spark is blazing hot. But but Ruby, bringing your family in too soon, well, that could smother it. And you don't want that. So how about let's find Frank something that won't burn him out. Plus, you can't do this sort of thing in your father's break room. Yeah, the countertops are so rough there. Or in this break room because it's gross and I don't want to see it either. Okay, yeah, you're right. Man, Joanne, you give great advice. You should be the one hosting Frank's show, not that Josie skank. Oh, you mean Josie Heller? Yeah, what's she like? Josie Heller, host of Josie's Lonely Hearts Club? (laughs) Yeah, I mean, who else? Is she bossy? Have you not listened to the show? Oh, um, I don't own a radio, and it isn't online. No, no, it isn't. Well. Josie's waiting on us, Frank. <laughs> yeah, we should go. That skank is so needy and irritable sometimes. <laughs> and she has a long memory for petty grievance. Shh, she might hear. Go on. I'll hang out here. Hey, uh, can you wipe down the counter? Maybe we should make it a little messier first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have to get my cans on. You should put your oh. cans away. <laughs> Love you, Frankie. Frank! I don't know the buttons! I gotta go. <laughs> Frank! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. We got I, Yeah, I, I love you too. Okay, eight, let go with that. I have to. Go. Seven. Hurry up, Tiger. Six. <laughs> no, I gotta. Five, okay, coming, coming. Four. Three. Two. Ooh. You're listening to KDNM where the fun never stops. Go. Good night, cuties, and welcome to Josie's Lonely Hearts Club. I'm your host, Josie Heller. Let's spend the night together. How's work? I feel like that's a question I rarely ask on the air. And what a glaring omission that is. Sure, we can try to separate job life and home life, but how successful are we, really? Forget overtime. You're over everything. And before all this, I was something of a Joan of all trades. There was the modeling stint, the lounge singing gig, the foray into perfumery. I briefly owned one-fourth of a very promising racehorse. 
I moonlit as a speechwriter for a senator before their highly publicized resignation. I can't comment. I am positively mummified by NDAs. During all of this, I was, as the song says, working as a waitress in a cocktail bar. Long hours, bad tips, and a manager who was a real POS system. I didn't save a scrap for myself. All work and no play made Josie feel just awful, dried out, unremarkable, like a crouton with breasts. No wonder two thirds of us have had an office romance. It's our way of sweetening the medicine, of finding something pleasurable in life's chief letdown. You work hard, then you play hard. But I've carved out the perfect spot here. Not a career, a calling. So let's get down to business, cuties. Call 505-555-KDNM and tell me all about your mergers and acquisitions, your spreadsheets. Frank, who's ready to clock in? Yeah, absolutely, Joe. Our first hoe in the row is Jude calling in from Reno. Jude from Reno, welcome to the show. Hey, Josie. Uh, so glad to be here. Oh, good to have you. And how can I help? Uh, yeah, I'll jump right into it. So my partner, she's an orthodontist. She's upset because I'm spending too much time on the job, you know, at the job, focused on the job. You know, I'm kind of like living and mm -hmm. breathing this a little bit. Totally. Now, what kind of line of work are you in? Well, it's it's marketing of sorts. I guess you could say grassroots oh, yeah. marketing. I'm, I'm, I spin a board. Oh. I spin the sign outside of Dale delis and donuts. Mm. I spin the sign out front for the sandwiches while wearing a sandwich. My. You know, a lot of people have tried and not made it into the club I'm in as far as the level of skill. I'm like quite good. There's not a lot of people that can do the tricks that I do in as extensive a costume as I'm wearing. I'm sorry, I didn't come on here to like give you all of my accolades, but I was put up for best spinner in Reno last year. Give me her sign. What are the main complaints? She gets mad because I'm so invested in it. I'm trying to broaden the hours that I'm using in the day, I'm trying to sleep a little less to sort of get my efficiency up. Yeah. She's like, you are spinning out of control. I'm like, I could not be in more control. Right. I'm always trying to get better. My, my spin instructor, Topher, is telling me constantly that like there's the people who are just doing this because they want to make a buck. Wow. And then there are the people who are doing this because they want to change what it means to spit. Right. I don't think she understands why it's so serious to me. She might not. I don't spend, you know, the money I spend on classes for kicks, you know. I want to see if I can make a mark on this community. Jude, you're an artist. Thank you, Josie. And not everyone can be a partner to an artist. It, what's your partner's name? I'm sorry. Uh, Sarah. Sarah stumbled into your life, dazzled by your spinning skills. Sometimes you think, one day, he'll love me more than the spinning. Do you think she feels second to the spinning? I think absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, in a lot of ways, I've, I've made her second to the spinning. Like, if someone made me choose <sighs> between Sarah and sandwich spinning... I have to keep spinning. I think that's admirable, and it's very big of you to admit that. But I do think, I do think that this warrants a discussion with Sarah, and you might have to explain, hey babe, I am married to my work. You fell in love with a hustler, baby. I can't turn it off. That may not be the life you want. And if that's the case, you gotta cut bait and you gotta let her find some other, some other you know? And of course, yeah, I think that Sarah probably feels left behind because who could possibly outshine the dazzling, you know, mile a minute life of competitive spinning? My God. I mean, more than an artist, you're you're also somewhat of an athlete. Oh, uh, yes. No, Josie, I, sh I should have led with that because we do like to see ourselves as athletes first. Athletes, artists, activists. Mm. I think you're right, Josie, that we have to talk. And I think I need to be ready to, um, to spread my wings if I have to. If I can make one more sandwich suggestion, you've got to go at this open-faced mm. and open-hearted. Mm. Well, look, it's been a real treat talking to Likewise, you. Likewise, Josie. Keep, keep doing what you do. Oh, you too. 
I don't want to cast aspersions, Joe, but sort of sounds like that last caller was a little inbred. Oh, my. Well, <laughs> gosh, there was some mustard on that one. Who's, who's next up? Calling up next, we have Lee calling in from Santa Fe. Lee from Santa Fe. Welcome to the show. Oh, hi, Jersey. <laughs> hi, hi, Lee. It's, it's, it's Josie. <laughs> oh, 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 Josie, right. I'm going to jump right in here. I've been married for uh, about 10 years now. We both work different schedules. I work during the day. He works at night. And we don't see each other uh, very much. Mm -hmm. He would leave little notes to me. He would leave dry food next to the water dish on the floor, though we don't have a pet. But I thought that was considerate. I, I haven't seen him in a while. And then all of a sudden, I began to think I was living alone. This sounds like... Like a tragedy, Lee. It is. The two of you just neutering all of the eroticism out of your relationship. No wonder it was easier for you to imagine that you lived alone because to think about what you missed. Uh, I've gotten kind of used to it. And uh, I, I began to think, well, maybe I maybe I never met Ray. Ray? Oh? Roy? His name's Ray, right? Sure, I think. Your husband of 10 years? Well, you know... The thing I'm starting to wonder is, is he, in fact, a missing person? I just don't know. We do need to absolutely get to the bottom of whether or not, one, you've met and married Ray, and two, that he does indeed share the house with you. Uh, Ronald. Ronald. Right. I just remembered. It's Ronald. I'm sure. There you go. One of you has got to budge. Find a reason to take a day off. You've got to be able to get one day off. And just... In my line of work, it's very hard for me to take any time off. Oh, gosh. Well, well what is it that you do, Lee? Well, I run a, a crematorium oh, oh. called Abracadavers. Now you see them, now you don't. And when I come home at night, I'm kind of tired. And, and I... Do you have like a doorbell camera or, or a nanny cam? Well, I have a mega horn that I use when I'm in the Adirondacks to ward off bears. And I keep that next to the house. What if you took that megaphone and as you're on your way home from the crematorium, you pull out that puppy and you go, Ron, please come out and meet me. There's something important to discuss. Wow. And then see if he comes out and meets wow. you. Wow. You know? Yeah. I could do that. I won't, but I could do that. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know, because I'm shy, you know, I never like the timber of my voice, you know. And you could get a third person involved. I don't know. Three ways. I'm past three ways. I'm I just meant you send someone to the house. Knock, knock. Hi, Ron. Hope you're still here. Hey, that's fun. Or hi, who are you and why aren't you Ron? You know, just send someone. That's a great question. Who are you and why aren't you Ron? Well, I think this is all, but this is valid. This is why I called you and you are obviously the J. Lee, you're a treat. Thanks, cutie. Here's how we balance our life with our work. We balance this show with ads. Sit tight, cuties. We'll be right back. And we're... You skank. You're telling me shy, unassuming Joanne Holzinger moonlights as Josie Heller. <laughs> oh, no way you pinch me. It's in the show notes. It's just, I mean... The way you are just sort of matches the way Frank's always described you. Hmm, how's that? Oh, we don't need to get you into You know, that. librarian, mousy kind of a shut-in. I've never used those words. I've got the text right here. Oh, my bad. It's cat lady, but make it tweet. Well, yeah, no, those words sound a little... Really, Frank? Okay, it is starting to sound like I might be in trouble here. Because you hid this from me? Certainly trouble adjacent. Frank! Ah, no, that is what trouble sounds like. Nora, we're... Actually, in the middle of a, an ad break, I've been listening. I need Frank for 90 seconds. Is this your sister? I've heard so much about you. I'm Ruby, Frank's girlfriend. Girlfriend. Great. Hallway. Maybe it's good news. Uh, be right back. I love her. You enjoying the show? You know how people say don't quit your day job? Uh, well, I am thrilled you quit that day job. <laughs> oh, they, they, woo, thrilled is a good way to say it, too. I mean, it's the best, scariest thing I think I've ever done. Way to go. You bet on yourself. That is what I've done. <sighs> Plus, I bet you've got savings. What? Nest egg? No. Rich parents. Uh -uh. Brave. I mean, walking the knife's edge when the show could get canceled at any time. Huh? What the hell was I thinking? What if I get sick? What if I ball down a silver mine? You're right, Ruby, I have no savings. Then why did you leave? Uh, I used to be. I had one foot in that world and one foot in this one. And that balance made sense. Felt safe. Now I think every week I put a little bit more of me into the show. And then the library started to feel like a, like a lie. 
like a place I hid in. But now, Frank counts me in and I am everything I want to be. And that's it. That's why I did it. And if I could put money on it, Ruby, I think Frank is the same way. You take him out of the light and, and he'll wither. You really seem to have something with Frank. <clears throat> I'm so glad he has a friend like you. <clears throat> hey, <laughs> I heard that. Heard, 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 heard what? That tickle? Somebody needs a Ricola. <laughs> yeah, here you go. <laughs> Ricola! <laughs> hey there, howdy. You want to listen to the rest of the show in here? Keep me warm? I'm going to go pick something up, actually. See you after. Okay. Uh, what I miss? Nothing important. How about you? Oh, uh, nothing important. Mm. All right, let's get back to it. Mm, that's, yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back, cuties. We are filing a quarterly report on our own work-life balance. Frank, have we got anyone waiting in the break room? Well, we don't have to work too hard to get this next person on the line. This is Stacy calling from Denver. Stacy from Denver, welcome to the show. Oh my God, I can't believe I got through on this call. I love your show so much. I love it. I, n- I never get tired of hearing that, I gotta say. So Stacy, how can I help you? You know what it's like to be a woman with a very specific job, right? Mm hmm. You said mm hmm in the way that a woman with a specific job would. I also am a woman with a very specific job. And the thing is, I think it's kind of getting in the way of me having, I don't know, like a relationship with someone else. Unpack that for me, babe. I, uh, I'm sorry. It's okay, babe. I give STIs to animals. That's. That's your job. You know, for example, the first time I did this, I went to the San Diego Zoo. My job was to literally give them chlamydia. (sighs) Now, Stacy, take a breath. (sighs) What is the rationale, though? So, um, when I give uh, animals, um, SDIs, we figure out what happens in those animals' bodies when the SDIs uh, work through their systems, which means that we can also figure out what happens oh. to humans when those SDIs right. work through our systems. Does this perhaps feel thorny because they are sexually transmitted? I mean, thorny in the sense, yeah, they get a lot of things on their dicks and their pusses. Oh, gosh, I bet. I und- I just mean, does it feel ickier. Well, than... I wouldn't know because I don't have these STIs. I, I This is what I've studied all my life for. And, you know, when I go on, like, say, a speed dating event and I talk to someone like I am like, hey, Steve, my name is Stacy. Here's what I do for a living. Oh, oh, gosh. Yeah, I can see. But you know what? Maybe what this needs, this just needs a little triage. We got to figure out the spin. Stacy, we got to figure out how you can present this so that whoever whoever your love is, this hypothetical Steve, they see right through that job and right into the beautiful, individual, unique person that you are. So you. So how does a hypothetical Steve love the fact that I give panda bears STIs? Because you don't say that. You say, I work. I work. In epidemiology. In epidemiology. I work in the sexual health field. I work in the sexual health field, yes. Very, see, do you, oh my God, see, that sounds hot. Really? Say that again. I, I work in the sexual health field. My God, I'm riveted. Stacy. I think this is what you say, because then they go, really, tell me more. And, and then I tell them I give pandas STIs. No, no, you, you drip feed it. You breadcrumb it. You, you Drip feed it like the way I do with the STIs to the panda bears? No, no, uh, that's interesting that they're orally administered. I, oh, it's not orally administered, no. You All I mean is that what you do is you show just a, a hair of discretion. And when someone says, oh my, the sexual health field, well, please tell me more. You say, you know, honestly, I, I work in the prevention and the study of sexually transmitted diseases. And that's enough, but it's boring. I'd rather talk about you, Steve. Where'd you get that tattoo? You know, what you don't say, maybe ever, are the words I give STIs 
to animals. So I get STIs from animals. Oh, no, no. Okay. Okay. No, no, you know what? I am hearing you, Josie, so well. I love this. Oh my God. Thank you. I think you have honestly changed my life. That no. He is going to have a very interesting date. On Tuesday evening. Stacy, I'd, I'd highly recommend that you... Have a great night. Okay, bye. Right. Thanks, Stacy. Frank, have we got anybody else? Yeah, up next in our menagerie, we have Amanda calling from Fort Collins. Amanda from Fort Collins. Welcome to the show. Oh, hi. It's great to be here. Thanks for taking my call. Oh, my pleasure. So, uh, what can I help you with? Oh, Josie, I just, I don't even know where to start. Just so much has happened to me in the last month. Oh. I'll say this. I'm having some marital issues. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. About a month ago, I was just cruising the internet. Mm-hmm. I came across this banner and it said, click on this and change your life. And you know, I, I've just, I've been feeling so, just so down in the dumps lately. I just, I, I haven't, I haven't been able to spread my wings and be an individual like I used to be. And okay. my husband, as much as I love him, he's been running my life and I just wanted to try something for me. So I clicked the banner. Yes. Josie, you won't believe it. Uh, won't I? You know how dreams come true, Josie. I've heard. Josie, have you ever had a dream come true? Uh, Josie, Josie, have you ever had a dream? I'm sitting Josie, right here. Josie, okay. yeah. Josie, are you with me, Josie? Amanda, I am right here with you, yes. What's your dream, Josie? My dream. What's your dream? Has come true because I'm here talking Don't to Don't give you. me that crap, Josie. What's your dream? All right. Well, it involves a Pegasus, so... Uh, but that dream... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Josie. What if I tell you, you, with enough money, you could also get a Pegasus? I could never ride on the back of Falcor the Luck Dragon. It's not gonna... You say never, but I say dreams come true. Well, tell me how, Amanda. How has your life changed in the past month as a result of this? That's all I needed to hear, Josie. Well, take it away. Okay, so I click this banner. Mm -hmm. And suddenly I'm making $10,000 a week. Uh Uh-huh. My husband, furious, because for the first time in my life, I have financial independence to do whatever the heck I want. Oh. And he being a police... Police officer. Okay. He's specifically in fraud. He's just so upset that I have found this way to make money and there's nothing wrong with it. Good for you. Now, how, where did this windfall? It's not just the money, it's changed my body too, okay? Oh, oh, wow. Okay. So I click this banner. We're going back. I click the banner and it's like, hey, try this shake. It's going to change your life. I lose 25 pounds in the first Good. week. Oh, unbelievable. That's... And I was. I, Thrilled. I was thrilled. <laughs> it's French, okay? The name is French. It is called Changer Your Life. Wow, that is. Um, wow. Yes, thank you. So what seems to be the problem? It's jealousy, Josie. Mm, you hate to see. My husband's out there. He's fighting the criminals. You know, he comes home at like 3 a.m. and he's exhausted and he just wants to make money like me and he's so envious. So you know what I did? What did you do? Brought him in. Oh, wow. Hey, did it did it help? Well, you know, all he had to do was spend $25,000 of our life savings. And then he was able to buy into this. And now he's lost 800 pounds I, of stress weight, of emotional turmoil. Okay. I see. I see. He he got rid of the, the old motorcycle in the garage. And that was 760 pounds of that. No, no. He actually added three motorcycles. Okay, that is how much money he is making. And you've recouped the 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 twenty five thousand dollar investment that, that 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 you put in. That is a great question, Josie. And you know what? We now have three Lamborghinis. Okay, uh, all of those easily worth way over twenty five thousand oh, dollars. Huh? You you seem well. Our sex life has never been better. I'll tell you that. <laughs> then where are the marital problems? That's what I want to know because it sounds like I'll tell you it's a lot of stress, Josie. Being this wealthy, being this cool, uh, and it really feels like um, mm-hmm. and it's time for us to expand and help other people. Oh, so um, oh, Josie, I ask you again, how much do you think it costs to ride a Pegasus? Oh, you. Know- is there a cost on dreams, Josie? Uh, but I think the core irony here is that you... Josie. Mm. Josie. Yes. Josie, baby, honey. That's my Josie. name. Yes. Have you ever been in love? Oh, gosh. Yes. Yeah? What did it cost? Oh, babe. Uh, we don't have enough time for that. It costs everything. So, uh... You know what doesn't cost money? Mm-hmm. Happiness. For $25,000, you can buy it. Amanda, you know, I've worked in broadcasting for a while, and I know... Yeah, it's time to make a change. I know a pitch when I hear one. And I heard you talking about expanding and needing to pay this forward. And listen, I just... What? You're barking up the wrong tree, babe. You gotta find someone a little less content. 
I, I feel like you're not hearing me, but you know what? To all the listeners out there who are not making the same mistake Josie's making, you too can change your life. You can change your life. You, you bet, Amanda. You okay, my promo okay. Code, Amanda uh-huh. All sure. right. Um, listeners, just use your discretion and your and your common sense, guys. Now, listen, that, uh, that just about brings us to the end of the hour. And I want to thank all of you for making my job the best job. But... Sit tight, cuties, and keep your hot little hands off that dial. Because, of course, we have a show coming on right after this. Frank knows all about it. It's the Flannel Channel. Absolutely, the Flannel Channel. Join together with Western Radio's top flannel dads as they go on outdoorsy adventures as just good buds. You know, they all have matching flannels. They all go out in the woods and they just, you know, bring you in on that friendship. You know, what do they do at night? Who knows? Flannel pajamas, probably. The Flannel Channel. Sounds cozy. You heard it here first. Well, night night, cuties. And we're out. You need help updating your CV? Get you the classifieds. You know, I'm more of a funny pages guy myself. Besides, it's not like I really need the money. Oh, that makes one of us. You live in an RV. Where does the money go? I've never been good with it. Yeah. Hmm. I bet you have some sort of weird secret addiction I don't Uh, know about. I want to say scented candles? No, but once a week, most weeks, I park at the Santa Fe train yard and I walk through the town. I check out all the galleries. I, I, I imagine... Having that art on a on a wall, an actual wall, like in a home. I'll take myself to a fancy dinner. I'll, I'll people watch. Yeah, I think what it might be like to live like them. You really like to live like that? Comfortable and lazy with a loveless marriage and a koi pond? Well, okay, comrade. What would you do with a million dollars? Oh, geez, I don't know. Buy half a house? Oh, God, fine. A billion, then. Well, I would probably give a bunch of it to charity, put a chunk of it in a trust fund for my nephews, and... Take a tiny little slice to buy the world's shittiest car, drive it here, and be your producer. You want to know why? You have no imagination? Because I don't want to be defined by money. And neither should you. Maybe it's a good sign that I'm even thinking of saving. And why's that? It means I'm not running. Who's got two rotisserie chickens and the rest of the night off? Really? I get my own rotisserie chicken? Oh, you've been working so hard. Oh, hard enough that it can be my... Only job? I gave it some thought, and you in a suit and tie, you just might wither away. Joanne was super helpful. Ah, the old Josie magic. No, it was Joanne. If worrying about two jobs made her like this, you might lose that signature cool. (laughs) Ah, you hear that, Joe? People think I'm cool. Mm Mm-hmm. You'll meet my family anyway, and the seal's broken now that I've met Nora. Now, come here, Greaseball. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) Oh, oh, uh, can I make sandwiches with the leftovers? We'll talk about it. <sighs> Fine. Um, Excuse me being here. Oh, not in the booth. You can't do it. I still have to do the credit. <laughs> yeah. Josie okay. Skanky Smut Club was created by Maximilian Clark and Rachel Music. Our story editor is Eliza Bruther. Our cuties this week included the talents of Levi Penley, Kat Letwin, Steve Hayes, and Christy Bolton. If you've been enjoying the show, you are probably sick of me asking you to do half a dozen different things. I'm going to make it real simple. And all I'm going to ask is that you head to our Patreon. It is free to follow us and make an account. It is patreon.com slash goodstoryguild. Your support means the world to us. We are offering everything from behind the scenes video calls to early access episodes to ad free versions of shows that you love, like this one and Divorce Ranch and Ley Lines and a forthcoming show yet to be revealed. Ooh. Anywho, that's us. <laughs>